You know, when I was practicing cardiologist and my patients would travel to Florida when I was practicing in Connecticut, they would come back after a vacation and they'd say, you know, I feel so much better. And I thought it was the sun and I thought it was the water and I thought it was the reduction of stress. But if you really look at it, it was the ground. You know, when you walk barefoot on the sand or you walk barefoot on the grass or on concrete, asphalt doesn't count. On tile, tile is okay. Or if you sleep grounded or if you use a pad or if you drive grounded, oh my gosh, a lot of things happen. When the person is grounded, you see the blood? You see how quick it's moving? That's an increased data potential as opposed to the blood on the other side where the switch wasn't turned on. Like you right now, if you're grounded, your blood is flowing as long as you stay grounded. And it also thins the blood, so you're less likely to have a heart attack and a stroke. Mm -hmm. And in fact, it thins the blood so much that if you're taking a blood thinner, you have to lower the dose. The surface charge. As soon as you plug the ground wire in to the earth, to a ground rod or to the electrical earth ground, then earth's energy comes up this wire. Mm -hmm. Electrons electrons and its electric field mm -hmm. come up this wire and they energize this pad. So as soon as you touch this, then your body becomes energized by the earth. You are now electrified by the earth rather than the electric field. The, the electric, your the body. Dwarfs the electric yeah. field. When you have enough free electrons, people are familiar with antioxidants. Mm -hmm. The reason antioxidants work is they pass a, an electron and they prevent the formation of free radicals. And why do we need this? Well, when you have enough electrons, your inflammation goes down. Mm -hmm. And we know that inflammation is the basis of most all chronic disease. It's grounded. So there's a grounding rod in the water. And on the right, it's not. And so you can see over time what happens to these flowers. The water, you can see the pH is changing in the water. David was talking about the water is more alkaline. And take a look at the impact of what happens. Look at the difference between the flowers. See, this is, in my opinion, this is more powerful than any medical study. I'm standing almost directly underneath power lines, and my voltage is 0.6 as opposed to 0.006. So it's nearly 100 times more voltage in my body simply by standing here. Now, just to show you an example of being earthed, I've got my rubber sole shoes on. I'm going to kick them off. And now look at my voltage. It's back down to 0 0.014 on bare feet. So basically, again, uh, we're going to have Joe ground himself. And you can see that it drops. It's quite a dramatic. Yeah. What we're just trying to illustrate here is these fields are real and that when you are in the, an environment that has electric fields in it, that your body is being charged. Mm -hmm. And what happens when you are grounded, the charge on your body is reduced. So welcome to my bedroom. This is another place we spend a lot of time. He's in bed at least eight hours a night, most of us. And I'm gonna see what my voltage is, just standing on the floor in the bedroom. It's a massive 15 volts. This is the highest reading that I've had outside, inside, anywhere. I'm at 15 volts standing on the bedroom floor. Now I've got a, a sheet on my bed which is earth. Do we have a close look at that? You're going to see it's got silver thread running through it. It connects in here with a lead and goes into the earth. So I'm at around 15 volts as I was before. I sit on the bed with clothes and I drop down to 2.9 volts. So that's quite dramatic, that's about a five-fold reduction. Fully clothed, sitting on an earth sheet. Now what happens if I get up onto the sheet? My feet, my bare feet touch it, it drops tenfold to 0.2. And I first was interested in it when the, a lot of elite athletes were using it for, for uh, recovery and they were uh, also, it, it was useful for tissue uh, healing and, and wound repair. So those are the reasons why I think it's so useful. I've been doing it for about seven years. And, and one of the ways you can do this at night when you're recovering. So we use the technology at night to make sure that they get up the next day fully recovered. The second use of the technology is to accelerate tissue repair and wound healing from injuries that may be sustained during a day's tour race. The Tour de France is by far the most difficult sporting event in the world. It's comparable to running three marathons a day for 22 consecutive days. The athletes reported and observed better sleep, less pain, more energy, 
faster recovery from injuries on a routine and Yaroslav regular basis. Yaroslav Popovich crashed on a time trial, had massive abrasions to his right hip and his right elbow. The moment that we got back to the hotel, we used the earthing technology immediately to start to accelerate his recovery. He was able to get up and compete fully the following day and put in one of the most significant contributions to helping Alberta win Key that video. year's tour. This was a study we did with plants with the Narcissus bulb. And so we have the ungrounded bulb is on the left, so we're just showing you what, what it looks like. And then we grounded the water on the right. And so we could see what's the actual effect, not just in cut plants, but in the growth of plants. And now take a look at what happens to the roots. Do you see how the roots are starting to, to grow much faster on the right? And now watch, watch how they live. So here we are at full height. So look at the potential. What's the growth potential? What's the potential for being alive? And then once you are alive, how vibrant can you stay? How, how do you stay alive? And so here's that last day. Look at the ungrounded ones completely fallen over. He said to me, when he was a carpenter, he worked with a bunch of Scandinavian carpenters. Mm -hmm. And they all took off their shoes in the morning and walked barefoot on the wet grass. Interesting. And he came to work as a, as a young carpenter, and the foreman said to him, he says, hey, buddy, you better take your shoes off, because if you come to work right now with those shoes on, you're going to be busted up in 10 years. Your joints are going to be aching, your muscles are going to be aching, everything's going to be aching. So this contractor was told by a foreman who worked construction and told him to take his shoes off for an hour in the morning. So when I talked to him wow. about the grounding, he goes, I know about that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, guys slugging sledgehammers and digging and hammering and you know it's stress to the tissues but if they put their feet on the ground for an hour and had their coffee breaks and took their shoes cool. off and you know it, it made a difference in the old days we used to wear leather shoes um, everything was leather sold leather is actually conductive it's a natural product it gets a bit of moisture in it it conducts electricity so more than ever before we're being insulated from the earth for one so we're not getting the, the negative ions coming up from the earth into our body which has an antioxidant effect and at the same time, we're not able dis to discharge EMFs that are just in our environment from power lines and places like that. The br your brain waves, this, this blows my mind, are the same as the Earth's EMF field. They're the Schumann resonance. It's the Earth's own waves. How are you going to get your brain going if you're not even connected to the Earth? That's the power of grounding. Grounding is so critical for your brain. It causes instantaneous changes in your left, feet, uh, left brain, too. Right? It, it's where the right brain, what's going on there? That's the creative side. The left brain, that's the analytical side. As soon as you ground yourself, your left brain goes, whoo, powers down. Right brain doesn't change, but your left brain does. When I went to bed... I went to bed and I wrapped the sheet around me all from my lower back to my feet and I woke up at five not only having three hours of sleep in the last 24 hours, not only rested but my back pain was completely gone, completely gone. And then this morning after I wasn't grounded, my sciatica started to hurt sitting here for what, 20 minutes? It, my sciatica pain's completely gone. So get the sheet. <laughs> that as soon as you ground yourself, left brain changes, right brain doesn't. Do we have a left brain dominant world or right brain dominant? What do you think? Could it have something to do with shoes? Could the answer be right underneath our feet? 